Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. This is going to be part two in our research and development multi-channel room. So we're going to talk about sound absorption for the middles and highs. The first uh, video that we did was all about pressure management, low frequency pressure management in our room. So this time we're going to talk about middle and high frequency management, not pressure management. It's a little bit different kind of energy, wave versus ray. We talked about that on many videos. So what we're going to do is I'm going to walk you through the room and, and show you all the foam technology that we have, how it's distributed in the room, and give you an idea of, uh, you know, the square footages of coverage that uh, we've gone through to achieve uh, the goals that we're after. What is our goal? I started out with this multiple channel project not knowing anything about multiple channels. You know, I've been a two-channel guy my whole life. <laughs> I don't know, 50 years, something like that in two channels. I think I had my first system when I was 16. It was, uh, let's see if I can remember, a Marantz 30, I can't remember the, the number, integrated amp, uh, dual 1229 turntable with a shear cartridge, uh, JBL 100 speakers, I, I don't remember the, the letter, the prefix, w the ones with the uh, foam face on them, the little cubes, different colors. C100s, I think they were called, something like that. I don't even know what, we, what I used for cable. I can't remember that far back. But my goal with the multiple channel system was to get the same resolution that we get with two channel. And we'll talk about whether I achieve that or not in, in future videos. But that was the goal. That was the design parameter. That was the design goal. That was the purpose. You know, that's what I wanted to do. I didn't know if it was possible. You know, multiple channels, lots of energy versus two channel uh, systems with just two speakers, a lot easier to get a uh, higher resolution. But we'll talk about all that in future videos, but that, that's been the goal. So let's take a look at our middle and high frequency foam technology in this room and we'll walk you through all the different surface areas that we've come up with. All right, so let's start with the rear wall. Things are a mess here, but I want to get these videos done because we're probably going to be moving the new studio to Nashville. There's our uh, foam technology. That's our CPA with three layers of our foam. So that goes down to about 65 cycles. We're testing the back wall with diffusion. We'll do a video on that later to get an idea. There's more of our CPA over here. And then as you can see, we even have our foam technology between the speakers. Okay. And we come down here, you can see it there. You can see it in the front. And we'll scan over here, you can see it between the speakers here too. Okay, come back a little, shrink this up. See it all the way across. Scan the room one more time. You can see we've duplicated it on this side. Foam technology. It's all about surface area. It's, reverb times are subjective, you know, lots of energy. You need lots of surface area coverage. So that's the key. One thing I do want to note here, look at the floor between the speakers and the listing position. We've got our foam technology. See if I can pull this off here. And underneath is our carbon. So underneath the foam technology is our carbon platforms. Let's see if I can peel this back here and show you what's going on. You can see our carbon modules underneath the foam. So we're managing pressure and reflections everywhere in this room. And you can see on the sides, it's multiple layers deep right there. Because we're after, you know, different frequencies. To be honest with you, I didn't even know it was that deep over there. It's been a while since I've looked at the sides. But you can see it there. Okay. And then, of course, the ceiling. We can't forget about the ceiling. Uh, 
it's critical to manage the ceiling situation as best that you can. And it's all about square footage of coverage, right? You're always trying to get enough to achieve the goals that you're after. Let's go here, we get a little better lighting from the window. And you can see what's going on there. So middle and high frequency absorption throughout the room. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.